Hey boys, welcome back to round 26 of our Kalen Ponga career, taking on the first place Sharkies, who it looks like, I mean, the Bulldogs, the Bulldogs could snatch the uh, the minor uh, premiership um, if we beat the Sharks and the Bulldogs win, or if the Sharks beat us, they will pick up the minor premiership. I don't know how the Bulldogs uh, up the top there, but you know, it's a video game. It, yeah, it's gonna, it's 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 gonna be random. You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't expect a video a video game to be, you know, the exact same as real life. Especially because in the NRL, as well, like every team on their day can pretty much beat any other team. Like, obviously, if both teams play their best football, then there are teams that are, are gonna win probably. But there's upsets all the time. So when you look at it like a stats perspective, a lot of teams are pretty similar uh, in terms of like their, their so-called stats. Uh, definitely teams that would be uh, more, but they're not that much more. So yeah, that, that's the reason why you get some weird ones as we go for. Oh, geez, that was... What is happening? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think I might have accidentally pressed triangle um, to call for the ball like ages ago and then the game sort of just kept trying to find me the ball, which I didn't want it. It, it just wouldn't stop. So yeah, that was that was frustrating. Thankfully right here we are able to make the tackle on Matt Moylan who, uh, who attacked the line. But the Sharks get a good chance early on here, which is what, exactly what we don't want to do. Uh, you know, to, to win these games... You need to start off good because um, generally going down is right here. Huge shot coming in. I don't know who it was, but fantastic defense that time. So, that, I mean, that's the one thing that's been very good is right here. Terrible kick. That is uh, that is a huge blunder. I uh, I knew it was going out. I just I just didn't, like, move it. <laughs> it's this Kurt Cable playing in the centers here. Just gets to the outside of his man. It was it was a good play from the Sharks, just quick early ball to their backs and a fairly soft try, but a, a uh, yeah a try on the back of our error, which is which is frustrating. Um, but yeah, winning winning these games, you do need to start off well. You need to sort of get that early ascendancy because trying to come back in in these games, especially it's it's tough. I mean, we we put on twenty eight points last game. Um, but that's not generally the uh, the way. It's it's usually pretty low scoring games. As uh, we put up the bomb, it wasn't the worst kick. But Josh Dugan playing at the back, he's gonna race away. It was um, the number ten. I don't know. I don't know if he just came back on the field or what he was doing. So far back, but I thought he potentially had the angle to cut him off. But Dugan was able to streak away, and Mitchell Pierce unfortunately couldn't make the distance. So. The Sharks are going to go up 12-0 in this match. A uh, bit of a turnaround from uh, from last game. Um, we are, you know, taking on the the number one team in the comp this year, so it's not it's not too surprising. But it is a it is a frustrating start considering what we did last game. Is that's a good bit of play? It was a massive gap up the middle. We didn't even need a step to get through. Just um, open them up. It was uh, it was good play. It was good play. Is uh. Kenny Dow, he's, uh, he's been good. Um, Kenny Dow, for some reason, is very good on the game. He's pretty average in real life, but on the game, he does beat the first tackler fairly regularly. Is right here. We get pinged for offside. Um, I don't know, it was a little, a little strange. I thought it was a bit of a tough call, but uh, it was given. So, yeah, unfortunate. This is Wade Graham almost gets the line. He's pretty much playing it on the try line there, as uh, right here, defensively. And this, this, that's exactly what I was talking about. As you saw before, like I made like the hit first, and then another player came in and made the tackle. But that time, when someone, when the AI made the initial contact, um, you know, I was there looking to make the tackle. I talked about this a lot last episode, but when someone else, when the AI makes a like the initial contact, you can't come in to roll them over, and also no other AI players go in to make the tackle, which it has to be. It has to be a um, a bug. I think I never really noticed it before that it happened all the time in this, but not in my, you know, my other career modes playing with a full team when I controlled all players. But uh, I don't know. I think it was like last game and this game really sort of illustrated it to me. And I sort of actually thought like, why, why does this always happen? Like I can't make tackles. And then I saw like, 
in this game that when I make the initial contact, the other players get involved, but not the other way around. So it's a frustrating thing. I doubt it'll get fixed because, you know, the game's fairly old now and, you know, True Blue uh, aren't really up to those right here. Paul Gallon. <laughs> Paul Gallon wraps us up. That is just ridiculous. I... Good lord, that, that's still something, that's probably my other little gripe with this game still, just the, there's just some forwards, uh, probably the forwards in general are too quick, um, I mean right there, like if we skip around Gallon, he, Gallon is literally one of the slowest forwards in the game, he, he's not, I mean he's not that slow, like most forwards in the NRL are, you know, they're pretty quick over a short distance, but Gallon is definitely one of the slowest, but against like a Kalen Pong or any outside back, they're, they're, they're no chance, most of them. Like, there's a few back rollers that are quick, but good lord, most of the forwards should be substantially slower. And it, it would it would fix a couple of issues with this game. It would obviously fix issues or, you know, just silliness like that where, you know, Gallon's able to wrap us up as we take the intercept here, we kick the ball accidentally, and then uh, we go on the attack with uh, with good stuff. But it's uh, it would fix that, and then it would also fix when you make a line break. <laughs> There's just so many defenders that get back in the way. He's right, like, we make a break there, and look at all the Sharks players that are already... They're all, like... They're just all, like, in line. Like, there's no... There's no forwards that are lagging behind, which happens in real life. Um, so that's obviously it would fix it would fix a couple of things. So yeah, I think just in general, just you know, decrease the uh, the forwards run speed. It would be very nice. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. It's right here. We call for the kick. It, was, it wasn't a bad one. It just sort of ricocheted, and uh, we did get the ball back though. So a little little fortuitous. So 18 0 down. I mean, we've got a chance to at least put on. Uh, a couple of a couple of tries at the back end of this game as uh, I hit up right there in the middle of the field, just setting up. Almost got to the line, but rolled over, so held up in that case. So there's still still over 10 minutes. A sweeping play out to the right here, and that is what a fantastic play. That is actually a beautiful set piece. That was that was just beautiful. The decoy um, from I think it was Ken Seo. It just looked really good. On the replay, it didn't look that good, but uh, when we look back, go back and look at that, uh, look at that live. That that just looked really slick. Like the, we had, it, it looked like it was pretty even with the numbers. It looked like it was three on three, but just the decoy uh, sort of in front of the ball, uh, it just opened the space. Like the winger came in, I think it was, or the center. It was just really nice. It was just a silky. Silky set play, so that was good. That was, uh, you know, at least we're getting something out of this game. Is again one of those <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. If for some reason, when the AI makes the first contact, the other AI players don't get involved. It's very, very strange, but yeah. And also, you can't get involved. That's the main issue. So the Sharks get another try. I think you know we've been a bit unlucky this game, but like I said, we did score that one beautiful uh, set piece. So that was. Okay, we're fini we're finishing our regular season off with a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a bang with that try. <laughs> At the very least, we are going to call for the ball last play of round 26. So there we have it. The Sharks are minor premiers. Uh, pretty pretty resounding victory. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first season here. We got some internationals to come, so make sure to like and look out for those. I'll see you in the next one.